students my name is sumit mehta so today in this lecture we will discuss about refraction of a light through a prism okay so in this lecture we will discuss one activity how light refract through a prism okay so i am drawing here a prism okay which looks like a base and three lateral surface in actual and the angle between the lateral surface is called as the angle of prism okay so first i will tell you step by step how to move and what to do in step by step okay first step is step 1 fix a sheet of white paper on a drawing board using drawing pins okay so this you have to do at your end fix a sheet of white paper fix a sheet of white paper on a drawing board using pins using pins second step is place a glass prism on it such a way that it rest on a triangular base so in this way the base should be at bottom okay so place a glass prism glass prism on it such a way that it rest on rectangular triangular base okay trace the outline of the prism using a pencil then where it is lined trace the outline so that it doesn't move okay draw a straight line pe inclined to one of the refracting surface let's say this is a straight line pe this point is p this point is e okay on the prism so third point is draw a straight line pe draw a line pe okay which is inclined to fix two pins say at points p and q on the line pe so there will be fix two pins so step 4 is to fix p and q on a straight line okay now look for the images of the pins fixed at p and q through the other face ab so this face is ab and this face is ac and look through the ac what are the images of b and c okay so fix two more pins at point r and s so you will see the images of these points here okay so this is r and s and fix two more pins at r and s such that the pins are the images of p and q respectively remove the pins and the glass prism fourth point is fix pins at r and s which are images of p and q respectively okay images so sixth step is to remove remove the pins and the prism okay students so what you will see the line pe meets the boundary of the prism at point e similarly joint produce rs okay so when i produce rs so it will meet the prism at point let's say f and similarly join produce the point rs and ef so when these two lines means these ef comes in contact so what you will see draw the perpendicular to the 
refracting surface refracting surface so this is perpendicular to this surface and this is perpendicular to this surface okay students so what you will see mark the angle of incidence i so this is the angle of incidence i with the perpendicular and this is the angle of refraction r or okay this is angle of emergence this is the angle of refraction now this is angle of this refraction for this surface because the light ray will go like this okay mark the angle of incidence the angle of refraction and the angle of emergence so student this is the i is angle of incidence r i mark is angle of refraction and e is angle of emergence okay so compare the angle of incidence angle of refraction and each refracting surface is this similar to the kind of bending that occurs in a glass lab no students yes the peculiar shape of the prism makes the emergent ray bend at a at an angle to the direction of incident ray okay so the direction of the incident ray this angle is called the angle of deviation so if you see that this angle which is when we produce this line this angle is called d is called angle of deviation okay students and this is called angle of deviation and this means how incident ray is deflected when it is passed through a prism so students till far we have discussed about how a refraction of light through a prism occurred okay and if you have still any doubt or any question based on what is angle of incidence refraction emergence and angle of deviation then feel free to comment in the comment sections thank you students happy learning